What's up team? Coach Brandon here and welcome to Fuel Everywhere. Monday, June 1st, we have a fuel benchmark coming at you uh, in honor of Elon Musk's new child, Xashe 12. Uh, of course, SpaceX just launched uh, the other day, so congrats Elon Musk and uh, little X. This workout is for you. All right, so this workout is a 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3 reps of hang, clean and jerks and burpees over the bar. The RX weights are 95 pounds for the guys, 65 for the ladies. Masters RX and intermediate scaled 65 pound barbell for the men, 45 pound barbell for the ladies. All right, so after that, we got a quick strength piece. We have dumbbell windmills, three sets of six, supersetted with three sets of eight, single leg RDL, and then a cool down after that. All right, lots to do. Let's get to it with warm up. All righty, so for our warm up, we're gonna start with a 400 meter jog. Once you get back from that, we're gonna move into 20 steps of a death march. So you can hold on to kettlebells or dumbbells, keep them light if you do. But what we are doing is a basically a single leg RDL, taking a small step, popping up our back heel. We're hinging at the hip, so you're sending your hips back till you feel a stretch in your hamstring. Then to stand up, you bring your hips forward, press through your lead heel, and then alternate sides. And you are gonna go for 20 steps. Next, you're gonna do 20 walking lunges. So these are weightless or just body weight, really controlling that knee to the floor and alternating reps as you go. Next, 20 hollow rocks. So we're gonna get into that hollow body position. All right, so our back is going to be rounded. Try and fully extend your arms and legs. If you need to, you can curl up into a ball, even hold on to your knees for 20 reps there. Uh, next, we have 20 plank shoulder taps. So we're going to be in a straight arm plank, tapping your alternate shoulder 20 times, keeping your chest, core, and hips square to the floor. After that, 10 big arm circles forward and 10 big arm circles backwards. Really try and get your bicep to touch your ear. Then we're going to do the same thing, but with hip circles. You can hold on to something if you need, or just balance in place. 10 big hip circles forward and then backwards. Again, try and keep your chest core and hips square to the wall in front of you. Last thing, we have 10 downward dog to seals. So we're gonna start in that downward dog or A-frame and then you're gonna come through. Oh, sorry. No, you're gonna start here and then come to a seal position and back. Alrighty, it's time for our fuel benchmark. X Ashe 12 or little X for short. Okay, so this workout, our reps are 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3 of hang clean and jerks and burpees over the bar, okay? So three, two, one, clock's gonna start. We need to establish the hang position. So we need to deadlift up first and then we can start our hang clean and jerks. So you can go low hang, clean and jerk. Or if the weight is light enough for you, you can do a high hang, clean, and jerk. Okay, once you've established your hang, you can cycle the bar for as long as you want. If you put down the bar before your 21 reps, which I highly recommend that you do, catch your breath and then, again, just remember, you need to do a deadlift to establish the hang and then continue on with your reps. All right, so after 21 hang clean and jerks, we're gonna go to burpees over the bar. We can do these laterally, so we can be parallel to our bar the whole time. Our chest and quads must touch the floor. And then we must jump over our bar to complete the rep. All right, if we are scaling the workout, we can choose to step over the bar. All right, so 21 of each, then 18 of each, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, until you are done your last three burpees. All right, move well, have fun, let's get it. Fantastic work team, make sure to put your scores into the Train Heroic app and dish out those virtual fist bumps. Okay, our next piece here, we have a quick strength piece. Three sets of six dumbbell windmills per side. So we're gonna get that dumbbell straight up in the air, walk up this arm, try and get that arm close to your ear. With your opposite foot toes are gonna be facing away. You're gonna slide your arm down your leg as you send your hips to the side anteriorly rotate your shoulder and then come back up. 
Okay, we're looking for a light stretch, so nothing intense. We've got a lot of core work going on. This is just as much mobility okay, as it is strength here. So three sets of six per side, superset it with three sets of eight, single leg RDL. Uh, you can use a barbell, you can use a dumbbell, but however you want, we're going to be on one leg, slight bend in that lead leg, very similar to our death march, but now we're sending our other leg back. You're at your bottom position when you feel tension or a little stretch in that hamstring, and then you come back up. Okay, let's keep our chest hips square to the floor. We don't want any opening up throughout the hips at all. Really trying to utilize that hip hinge. All right, three sets of both those items. All right, great work team. We're gonna finish off with a little cool down here. Starting with 10 downward dog toe touches. So we're gonna get into our A-frame or downward dog and you're gonna alternate which toe you touch and we're gonna go for 10 total reps there. Next, we're gonna get six half kneeling windmills on the wall per side. So you're gonna get half kneeling position, your knee that's up is right against the wall. You're gonna start with your palm flat and you're watching your hand trace the wall, straight arm. Let's really get rotation through our thoracic spine. Okay, so that's why we want you to look at your hand to get as much rotation in there as possible. Okay, six per side. Then we'll go into a 30 second figure four stretch per side. So we're gonna be on the wall. Feet on the wall, laying on our backs, trying to get our knees 90 degrees. And then you're gonna bring an ankle to your knee and feel a stretch down the side of your hip. You can push or you can pull your knee towards the wall to get more of a stretch there. All right, so next uh, we have one minute pigeon per side. So again, focusing on that outer side of our hip, you can keep your chest and kind of core and hip square to the floor. If that puts any unnecessary pressure on your knee, you can drop and then pull yourself towards your lead foot. Okay, again, then we'll get that stretch down our hips there. All right, next we have 10 sumo hinges. So we're gonna get into our sumo. Stance, feet pointing apart, knees slightly bent, hips back, feel a stretch in our hamstrings, hips forward. Show you from the side. Hips back, hips forward. All right, final thing, we have a 15 second side bend with reach per side. So we're gonna get our feet hip width apart. Send our hips to the side and reach to the other side there. All right, we're gonna hold for 15 seconds uh, per side and then we will be finished. Thank you so much for all your hard work and we'll see you tomorrow.